Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP 15-DB0004 laptop. And in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the mechanical hard drive that is in here which makes it really slow to an SSD hard drive and I'll give you a uh, recommendation for a good brand SSDs or second best SSD that you can have. These are because the only bottleneck for these laptops are mostly the hard drive, the mechanical hard drive, they have a little limit of speed and read and write and that makes it really slow for opening programs, windows, everything to run on one disk. So it's highly recommended that you upgrade to a solid state drive, you see a humongous improvement. So people keep asking me should I upgrade the RAM or the hard drive first, I will always say if you have mechanical hard drive, go with the hard drive first. So yeah, before I do anything, I'm gonna go over the uh, stuff that you need to do before you do this process. You need to back up all your files to an external hard drive because your windows, your files are gonna be in your old hard drive. Once you put the new solid state drive in here, OSSD, you will not have any operating system. So you have to install the windows freshly installed and then put your files back from your external hard drive. Now there's another form you can do a cloning of your hard drive you can clone your mechanical hard drive to an SSD hard drive. Pretty much you grab your, uh, let's say that you have the new SSD, imagine this is the SSD, you plug into this adapter, I'll leave the link in the video description. You can plug it in here and use it as a secondary storage and download a program called Mercurium Reflect. I'll leave the link again in the video description. You can clone your mechanical drive to an SSD drive and then you simply just swipe it and it will work just fine but not always is recommended to do a cloning from the mechanical to an SSD because of the architecture of the uh, cloning is a little bit different and uh, you do get some random blue screen update or some errors so it's highly recommended to do a fresh install. I made a video how to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive I made another video how to install it proper way on your HP laptop. I'll leave those links in my video description in case you guys want it. All right, in this video, I'm gonna go over how you open it up and how you can replace the SSD hard drive. In this case, the client brought its own SSD hard drive. It's a gigabyte SSD, which is a really economy. The price for these ones are really cheap, but I would recommend you guys go with a Samsung brand or Crucial brand. But these are like an ADATA or Kingston. Gigabytes are a little bit uh, low quality SSDs, but they are still better than mechanical hard drive. So we're gonna put this one in here. All right, first thing first, power off, back up your files. You wanna flip the laptop upside down. Now down here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws and two rubber legs, at the, one at the back, one on the front end. So what we're gonna do here is first, I'm gonna go over the tools that I'm gonna be using, a screwdriver set, I fix the screwdriver sets. These are one of the best screwdriver sets out there. They are S2 class steel, that means they will last you many years. So Philip number one, uh, Phillips number one bit head and if you get the pro set you get opening tool but if you don't get the pro set get the basic set for the opening tools I'll be using a guitar pick a mechanic uh, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers you will need a uh, tweezers a curved or a straight tweezers I'm gonna be using a curved tweezers all right first thing first we're gonna remove the rubber covers because there is a uh, screws underneath so you want to grab your guitar pick, you want to poke it right under the rubber leg. There's a little adhesive and you want to bring it up in 45 degrees, pull it up. Do not go this way, otherwise you're going to break the plastic, the rubber. Bring it like this and attach it beside it, right there so you don't put it on the floor, so you don't get dust under the adhesive. Same thing for the back end. Bring it up, put it to the side. Now down here, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. We're gonna start removing all the screws. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mis mistaking any. There's a screw in the front, don't forget about that one. So go ahead and remove all the screws and keep them in one pile. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. it will be a tremendous support for me to make more videos and take requests, answer your questions in a comment area. I appreciate that. All right, once we remove all the screws, now we're gonna grab the opening tool. 
So we're going to open up the laptop a little bit. And we're going to stick the guitar pick between the bottom cover and the palm rest right there. And what you want to do, you want to just wiggle it like this and go work yourself every two centimeters all around. And you want to hear a big click. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear big clicks. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You're not breaking anything. Go all the way to the back, back corner. And you want to do the left and the right side. Once you did that, now you can close up the screen, put it face down, grab the bottom cover from the front, and you want to wiggle it around and bring the back, work yourself, grab it from here, hold down the hinge side, and just bring it up and pull it up, and it will let go of the rest of the clips. So pretty much. Now you can go ahead and clean it up if you want to. All right, down here we can see the mechanical hard drive right away in the front left side. If the fan is facing that way, there's a big battery. These batteries are inflated. That means you have to replace your batteries. If yours is super flat, don't worry about it. But if you see a inflation just blown up right here, that means you have to stop changing the battery. All right, to remove the hard drive, you do not need to disconnect the battery at all. It's absolutely not necessary. But for those people that are really paranoid and they want to remove the battery, is one, two, three screws to remove to loose up the batteries. You can do it like this, remove these three screws. But again, it's not necessary to remove the battery to do this process at all. I'm doing this for those people that they go crazy, saying that you need to. Once you remove the three screws, grab it from here. By the contact, bring it up, but don't yank it too much because there's a clip here. Once you bring it up about 10 degree, you wanna pull it towards the fan. And that's it. And so that's how you remove the battery. But again, you don't need to remove the battery to do the upgrade for the hard drive. I'm gonna put it back together. Just push it down, push the back end under these hinges and then push the front end towards the contact. And the reason I'm putting it back in so you guys can see if I can do the upgrade, you can do it with no worry about removing the battery. If you remove the battery and you do the upgrade, once you turn on, it's gonna take up to five to 10 seconds for the motherboard to start because the bias gets resetted. So what we wanna do, we already removed these two screws from the cover. So you wanna lift up a little bit, about 10 degree up, then not too much, but you wanna break the here and then pull it back, wiggle around, and you're gonna see a, a SATA port that is getting disconnected. Now, this is the one drive wide it. HGST with a digital brand bottom up. We need this metal bracket, which is called a caddy. A caddy is a bracket that holds the hard drive in place. So we're gonna remove, first let's go ahead and open up this SSD. So. Really cheap packaging. So there we have the new SSD. So we have to pay attention to the con contacts here. We have to have the same orientation. The power connector and the SATA has to pay the same. So you don't want to put it this way. Otherwise it's going to be flipped. It's not going to go through. So keep it in this position, put it right there. Now remove these two screws and grab the metal bracket and put it over on this side. So go like this. And bring it over, put it on this one and put the screw right on top. There we go. There you can uh, you can convert your mechanical hard drive to an external hard drive by buying a caddy to convert this one to a USB. I'll leave those links in the video description so you can have actually take advantage of this one as a your secondary storage or external storage. All right, now we're gonna grab this hard drive. We're gonna Put it right through contacts and push it in and push it toward the board. Make sure this pin holes go through and it sits right there. Once we have it right there, put the battery in if you have disconnected. Grab the bottom casing, bring it up. I'm gonna always put the IO end scoop down right under the HDMI, so bring it in 45 degree. Push it there, hold it, and then let go. And now what you wanna do, you wanna pinch it down, 
push down the corners, the back side. So what I'm gonna do here is to open up the screen a little bit like that, and I'm gonna pinch the top and bottom co uh, contact here. You're just gonna pinch them. You wanna hit big clicks. So if you see any opening, just pinch them together, and that should be all. All right, now that we put them together, now you can go either you start putting the screws back in. So doesn't matter which order you start from. You start from one corner and put the screws back in and they put the rubber cover back in. I'm gonna power on, I'm gonna put the USB boot drive in so you guys can see it turns on and yeah, I can finish installing the windows and that should be all and then update the windows to install the drivers automatically. All right, I'm gonna finish up putting all these rubber legs later on. So let's go ahead and power on. So I'm gonna plug in the charger. I'm gonna grab my USB drive. And I'm gonna put it into any of port. I'm gonna power on. I'm gonna keep tapping on escape key. I'm gonna keep tapping until I see a menu that shows up on the left top side. It says, because we removed the battery, it says CMOS uh, checksum is invalid. The CMOS, which is a BIOS, will reset to a default configuration. So press enter. That's because we removed the battery. So press enter and keep tapping enter. Escape. And now I got a menu in here. From this menu, we're going to choose F9 for the boot device option. So F9, and from here, we're going to see a Kingston Travel, which is my USB. It's flickering because of the refresh rate for the screen is really bad. So I'm gonna click enter. Now it's gonna stop booting up through my uh, USB boot drive. So, and then I made a video how to do the proper way of all the proper steps that you're supposed to take to install your Windows. Check that link so you know, you don't install the window with all those blood words already that comes in it. So I'm just gonna, it's really dusty. I'm gonna wait, you see it? There's a circle right here. You guys can see it in there. For Windows installation. And there we have it. Uh, Windows setup. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click that like and subscribe. Support the channels. If you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.